lost all three. And they'll try to upstate, upset their in-state rival here tonight as we are underway at the Bryce Jordan Center. That's where his value comes to this team. He's stealing rebounds from the other team's bigs. Three minutes in, only one bucket so far. Hicks trying to change that. Some contact from Gregory, the foul, and the basket. <laughs> Runner doesn't go down as Sannon had it bounce off the front of the rim. Penn State back on the attack. Baldwin sets up a hard pick and roll to the basket for Kudiswaha. Barris is the biggest man that St. Francis has at 6'9", but nowhere near the size physically of Wahab. But it is like Barris who gets St. Francis on the board. It is, that's a good job to keep Penn State honest on that pick and roll defense. They stepped up a little too high, left um, Liberis open on a mid-range jump shot, and he knocked it down with Clary for three. That's good for Kanye. Yeah, it's a little different, you know, a lot more, a lot less conservative on the defensive end, but, you know, they're causing a lot of chaos. Buck Johnson from three, his first basket. I can say that, you know, they scored double-digit points in a national championship game, whether they won or lost. 11 points, six rebounds, as Carolina ended up as the runner-up to Kansas in that year's tournament, but it was quite a performance from Puff Johnson in that national championship game. Nice moves by Lopez, spins it through. Kern with the shot clock winding the six. Kern kicks it out. Hicks for three. That's good. 19.6 is the average age of their scholarship players. Only VMI is younger in all of Division I college basketball. Wahab keeps the rebound and dunks one through. St. Francis still can't get a three to drop. 0 for 8. Remember, they were just 24% from three entering this game. And it's not a good matchup against Penn State. How about that? From Kanye Clary, he was looking for a foul. The criminal legacy at St. Francis. It's Loretto, Pennsylvania, about 60 miles from here. These two schools don't get together often. A nice That's move there by Wilborn. Was it near it? Now Gregory with Baldwin behind him. Baldwin poked it away. Baldwin trying to set up Johnson instead sends it back. Clary three. It's good. Kanye Clary from long range. He has a dozen. Johnson back as Don tips in the rebound pass from Baldwin. Oh my goodness. That <laughs> been tied with Penn State. It's Carlos Lopez looking for some space. Takes it inside. Off the glass and Lopez has that one full. He got that because the defense, the offense kept moving, got the ball moving side to side. Penn State started to slowly creep out and connect to the shooters at the end of the shot clock. And Lopez did a good job of taking the ball in the, bank, in the paint, going to finish with the tree. Lions, Mohamed, the big man from Nigeria. Right back at you. Rebound for Raquandis Mitchell. Larry the pass, the dunk for Nick Kerr. Yeah, those, the, there's definitely a monopoly for the Airbnbs on <laughs> Penn State football weekends. I will, I, will, I will let you know that firsthand. <laughs> Baldwin gets Gregory to fall down, and Baldwin nails the jumper. Uh, sir, there's nothing over there. Uh, <laughs> beautiful move by Ace Baldwin. Way to step in and finish the play. A lot of guys, you know, they'll, somebody will stumble in front of them, and they won't have the discipline to finish the play. From the outset here against St. Francis, Clary into the paint with a floater that falls for Kanye Clary. Hicks from the corner, that's a three. Lily fights, goes up skies for the rebound and lays it down with the left hand. Demetrius Lily spent his entire summer working on his body, losing weight, getting in the gym, working on his game. Another offensive rebound. Lily does it again. Seven turnovers in this game for Penn State. They had 36 total in their first two. There's a oh. putback dunk, Eli Wilborn. Should be the last possession here for St. Francis. Up for Rosenberger, try to add to one more. Look at that move under the basket. Penn State had this one in control from the outset. And it's a 30-point win for the Nittany Lions tonight, 83-53, to as they take care of the red flash. Penn State's 3-0. Miles, what'd you like?